in an app I'm working on, I just encountered this piece of code. We have a switch statement, and for each case, we return a different string. This piece of code works, but I think the readability can be improved. What I don't like about the current code is that it can't be scanned easily. You have the check on a line and the result on a different line. Now I know I'm a bit nitpicky here, but I think small improvements can make a big difference. I'd like to refactor this piece of code to a lookup table. A lookup table is something that is very easy to understand. In most cases, it's simply an array, and I'm going to call this one icon attributes. And the key of each item in this array is the string that I want to check on. And the value is the value I want to return. I'm going to put each case in the array. And in the video, I'm going to speed up this a little bit because it isn't very interesting to watch at. Now with every item in the array, let's use it. So I'm going to return something from the icon attributes array. And in the old code, I used switch this type, but now every case item is a key in the array. So I can just do this type. And if type is a value that wasn't in one of the cases, I returned an empty string. And I can do that just here with the null coalescence operator. And now this piece of code does exactly the same as the switch statement, and I can just remove this one. And to my eyes, this is much cleaner. If I want to add a new item, I can just add one line here. In the old code, I had to add a new switch statement and a new return statement. Again, I'm being nitpicky, but I do believe that a lot of these kind of refactorings can make a code base much more pleasant to work in. Let's take a look at another example in the run presenter. And here we don't have a switch statement, but a collection of ifs that all just do the same thing. And right now I have to manually check if every check is more or less the same, and that requires a bit of brain power. Again, this piece of code can be improved by using a lookup table. So I'm going to call my lookup table according to the result that it returns. So CSS status classes. And the key again is the value that I'm going to check on. So in this case, pending. And the value is the result that I want to return. Like that. Now I'm going to convert the other if statements as well. Again, this isn't the most interesting part. So I'm going to fast forward that a little bit. Let's now add a return statement. So I'm going to return a value from the array I've built up and the one whose key is this result. And there's also a default value. And in this case, it's also an empty string. And with that code in place, I can just remove all the ifs. And this is much easier for my brain to process. I don't need to go anymore through all those if statements and hope that they do more or less the same. I know all cases will do the same when using a lookup table. 